I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the oldest pieces of fiber technology in the world, the drop spindle. This is something that we include in our Plymouth box and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the history and also how it was used. These tools were used from the Stone Age and were in common use all over the world up until about the 16th century when the spinning wheel is invented and started to replace the drop spindle as something that was a little bit faster and more efficient. However, drop spindles did not fall out of use entirely and in fact remain in use in pockets around the world today. I had a student from Somalia who told me that his grandmother still used a drop spindle back home. So, the principle behind a drop spindle is that fibers like wool or flax are sticky. They want to hold to themselves. They have microscopic hooks on them, and so when you twist them, they hold together. And in fact, this finger twisting would have been the way that the earliest peoples would have spun the first fiber threads. Now, the drop spindle makes this process go a little bit faster and more efficiently. So what you're going to do is start by tying a piece of yarn or thread around your drop spindle just so you have a hook to get started. And then you're going to notch your yarn into the slot on the side and wrap it around the hook a couple of times. Now we're ready to get started. So you'll take your wool and feed out just a little bit at a time. Okay, lay it alongside your existing thread and then now we're going to twist. The key is to make sure that you are always twisting the same direction or your yarn will become unspun. And as it starts to slow down in reverse direction, just give it another spin. Okay. And then when you're ready for more wool, grab another length. Stretch it out so you have a thin amount, lay it alongside, and if you need to hold the drop spindle while you're figuring this out, that is totally okay. You can twist it with your hand instead of gravity just so that it goes a little bit slower and you're not trying to keep it twisting at the same time. There you go, and just stretch it out a little bit at a time. When it's getting too long for you to manage, you're going to unwrap the hook and wrap it around under the whorl. And when it's nice and short, put it through your notch, wrap it around your hook, and you're ready to go for your next round. Now, what this means that the spinning wheel wasn't invented until the 16th century is that it was a pretty new item by the time the pilgrims and the strangers were traveling on the Mayflower. It would have been, um, the spinning wheel would have been a very new piece of technology, so they would have been relying still heavily on drop spindles. Thank you, and keep learning with us. Stay tuned for more about hands-on activities that bring history to life. Have a great day.